What's up y'all? In today's video, I am going to be soaking off this regular polish to gel polish. As you can see, it was chipping. I'm going to use my Snails Nails 100% Acetone, Acetone, <laughs> Acetone Remover Gloves to soak this polish off quickly. So as you can see here, I am putting on the gloves. I'm going to let them sit for about probably 10 minutes since it is a regular to gel polish and it's not actual gel gel polish i'm gonna see if it soaks off quickly like the others you can see here how it's coming off already on the tips of the cotton when i'm using these gloves what i do to check to see if the polish is removed you see i just lifted it up some to look at it and it's all good to go so now i can go ahead and take them off So you can see the color of the polish all on the cotton pads. It came off really, really good. And it did come off in about 12 minutes. So next, since there's a little bit of glitter and a little bit of polish around the outline of my nail bed, I take a piece of the cotton from out of the glove and I use the side of that cotton pad that was not used to soak off the gel polish. It's basically white on the other side and still has plenty of remover on it. So I'm just wiping all the excess off my nails with it. So all the access is off. Next, I'm gonna scrub my hands with my 60 second manicure hand scrub from Bath and Body Works. Love this stuff. So I'm just gonna take a little bit out and just rub it all over my hands, my fingers, and scrub it in really good for like 30 seconds on the hands. And then I'm gonna use my Eco Tools nail cleaning brush for another 30 seconds to clean and scrub the top of my nails and under my nails to get all the rest of everything nice and clean. As you can see here, I'm just uh, fouling my nails a little bit with my cute candy cane nail file. And after that, I'm going to apply a little bit of my Twisted Peppermint Bath & Body Works hand lotion. Smells so good. And they look great, especially after that scrub. It really helped. Then now I'm using an alcohol prep pad just to dehydrate my nails since I put the lotion on it. So I can apply my Sally Hansen's nail growth um, nail polish to my short little nails as you can see <laughs> to try to get them to grow a little bit so this is a pink gel coat that you put on to brighten and strengthen your nails i put one coat on of that after applying the sally hansen all right now i'm going to polish my nails with my essie this one is called starry starry night and it is from a limited edition collection I think this was my first time using this color. I can't remember using it before. The only thing I didn't like about it was the brush. The brush was really skinny and the bristles weren't, like when I was polishing, they were kind of like flipping back um, and kind of just all over the place. I, it just took me a little longer to polish my nails to just kind of keep in the brush in line. So that's the only thing I didn't really like about it. So I'm just applying my Seche bead and after this I'm going to do an accent nail with my OPI Hello Kitty glitter. It's called Glitter to My Heart and I'm applying it to two nails on each hand, two accent nails. I wanted to give it like a snow look like it was snowing at nighttime or something y'all. I don't know girl but that's just what was in my head at the time. <laughs> All right, I'm all done now. So next, I'm just going to add my Orally Color Care Argan Cuticle Oil to both hands. I'm going to rub it in really good. And then I'm all done and finished with my nails of the week. I think they turned out pretty nice. I think it's a nice little wintry look and very easy very simple and quick so yeah thank y'all for watching please click that like button and subscribe